Chris Pratt is quite literally the definition of someone who built from the ground up. From being broke broke at one point to having a net worth of 80 million US dollars, he has made quite a name for himself in Hollywood, and at the same time, quite a car collection. And that's exactly what we're talking about in today's video. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about what Chris Pratt has in his garage. One would think that an American action movie star of Hollywood has an immaculate car collection of luxury SUVs, American muscle automobiles, and bulky off-roaders, right? In all honesty, one wouldn't be completely wrong with this assumption, because Chris Pratt's garage does hold a beautiful Volvo XC60 and a Ford F-150. Not only that, but he's also a proud owner of a Triumph Scrambler, a motorbike he got to keep after the movie Jurassic World wrapped up. What a souvenir to take home, right? Chris Pratt, like anyone with money to spend, also owns a gray Model 3 Tesla. Some have branded his automotive collection as basic, but just wait for the other shoe to drop. The actor's garage pays an unexpected nod to his humble beginnings by hosting a 1965 Volkswagen Beetle. Let's take a look into the story behind the yellow Beetle. If you think Chris Pratt's bright yellow vintage Beetle is an odd choice of vehicle for a big movie star, you should know that it has quite the backstory that explains how the car came to be in his ownership. Chris Pratt, the millionaire actor that you see today, wasn't always so well off. He used to make money by selling coupons and working at the Bubblegum Shrimp Restaurant. Not only that, but before his acting career took off, the actor lived in a van and was forced to make ends meet. Back in 2004, a decade before Chris Pratt's movie hit the big screen, the actor actually won the Beetle in a game of blackjack. Pratt called the car Scrap at the time and worth $2,600 only, but it was his most prized possession. And after hearing this story, we won our own personal Beetle as well. Where do we sign up? Despite being the first of the more modern classic Beetles with large windows and more legroom, the 1965 model didn't come equipped with rear seatbelts, and a radio was an option that you could later add. According to Forbes, the Volkswagen Beetle is a fairly priced vehicle that anyone can buy. It was once known as the Volkswagen Type 1. The car was ordered from Ferdinand Porsche in 1938, but all work on it was put on hold because of World War II. Pratt clearly kept the car and with very little mechanical experience, set out to restore the car using YouTube tutorials as his instruction manual. The project took a total of 12 years and cost him many dollars, according to the actor. We're guessing the many dollars is an understatement, but this story has our hearts. When production on the vintage model in Mexico came to an end in 2003, the Beatles' antique status was further solidified. Volkswagen officially ended production of the later golf-based new Beetle in 2019, even though it had already left Australian dealerships in 2016. Next up, let's dive into the love story between Pratt and his Beetle. In an Instagram post from 2015, Chris Pratt initially hinted at the the outcome of his labors by posting a clip of himself driving the Beetle and blasting heavy metal music. He called the 12-year restoration process of his car a labor of love. Pratt shared his views that classic cars in fact continue to get better with time and age. He said that for him, it was a dream come true to drive around this vintage Beetles on the hills of Hollywood. What we want to know is could a Chris Pratt-led Love Bug remake be in the works? It's your move, Hollywood. He shared on Instagram that his journey took a lot of trial and error, but we're just glad that in the end, they made it. Talk about happy endings. But this story just has it all. The waiting and working and the happy ending we all didn't even know we needed. It's a wholesome, wonderful, and sounds like a hell of a ride. Pun intended, of course. Chris Pratt also joked on Instagram by saying that nobody is ever going to walk into a car museum in the next 40 years and say, Whoa, look! A 2003 Jetta! Fully restored! Pratt says that they simply don't make it as they did before. And he's absolutely right. We can't help but agree. Now, let's take a look at some other news that might interest you. First up, here are a couple of crazy expensive things that Pratt owns. Even with 80 million US dollars in his bank account, Chris Pratt still holds on to his humble hobbies from the olden days, which include farming, fishing, and camping. The actor once used to be homeless, and has mentioned how it's a pretty awesome place to be. We just drank and smoked weed and worked minimal hours. Just enough to cover gas, food, and fishing supplies, he stated. Pratt's carefree ideology towards his life, however, didn't steer him to a path of self-destruction. He met actress Ray Don Chong while he was struggling to make ends meet, and she went on to alter the course of his life. Chris Pratt's acting career flourished to great heights between June 2016 and June 2017 alone. It brought in $60 million for him. Him. One of the things that he has bought with his crazy wealth is a Mediterranean-style home in Hollywood Hills. The house is priced at a whopping $3.3 million. The Jurassic World actor purchased this house for his family after he married his first wife, Anna Ferris. The elegant mansion included arched windows and doors, a spa-like bathroom with a stream room, and custom-built wardrobes. Pratt resided in the five-bedroom, four-and-a-half-bath home up until his breakup with Ferris in 2017. At the time, the mansion was advertised for $4.995 million. After their separation, Ferris agreed to move near Pratt's house for the benefit of their five-year-old son, Jack. Speaking of expensive mansions, Pratt also owns a Pacific Palisades mansion, which is valued at $15.6 million. The actor bought the house in San Juan, where he settled down with his second wife. After being married to Anna Ferris, Chris Pratt intended to move in here with Katherine Schwarzenegger. The stunning mansion has five bedrooms and six bathrooms, and it is 8,000 square feet in size. It is the ideal residence for Pratt. Thanks to its roomy garage, swimming pool, wine cellar, pool house, and equipped gym, nothing out of the ordinary for the elite. To include his best folk ideas, and 
to add a personal touch to his living space, Pratt bought an unfinished house. Can't say we're surprised. He wanted to keep everything confidential, so he bought his house in secret prior to the home being finished. They lived in Katherine Schwarzenegger's bachelorette pad. Next on our news radar is Pratt's Mario voice. The new animated film Super Mario Bros. has given the Hollywood star the opportunity to voice the mustachioed plumber Mario, and he is overjoyed with the opportunity to say the least. Chris spoke about his experience with the project. I'm providing a voice for an animated character, and it is updated and unlike anything you've ever heard in the Mario world before, he said. The Super Mario Bros. movie adaptation, which was originally supposed to come out on December 21st, will now premiere in North American theaters on April 7, 2023. The voice cast also features Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, and Anya Taylor-Joy as Princess Peach. Is there anything our favorite actor can't do? Talk about having many talents. Now, speaking of talents, did you know Pratt is an actual musician? Comedy actors frequently include music in their performances. Some of these actors actually play music in real life, while others only pretend to play music on TV to fit the part. Chris Pratt actually plays the guitar, much like Zach Galifianakis occasionally plays the piano to complement his jokes. And his abilities go well beyond merely having a basic knowledge of music to play a few chords like Johnny Karate in a Parks and Rec episode. He performs so well that he owns a number of instruments. The first is a Gibson, which he played while serving as the 2014 Saturday Night Live host. When he appeared as a guest star on his wife's show Mom, he also played a Kenny Rogers tune. Let's wrap up our news broadcast on a great note. Jurassic World Dominion starring Chris Pratt took a great chunk out of the box office with about $143.4 million in just North American ticket sales, according to estimates by the studio. The film premiered in various markets in June, including earnings from international showings. The movie, which was released globally by Universal Pictures, has grossed $389 million already, and it's just getting started. While the audience seems to love dinosaurs on screen, we can definitely give some of the credit for the success of this movie to Pratt. That's a wrap for this video, folks. Tell us what do you think about Chris Pratt's car collection? Are you wooed by his story as well? Let us know in the comments below. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.